What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So, today, we got an interesting little topic and you guys, you guys got a little sneak peek if you check the community tab because I post there some quite interesting things and you should keep up to date with that. But I posted a little something that caught my attention I think it caught your attention too because it's the most ironic thing Thing that an anti-SJW YouTuber that wants to go ahead and LARP about pretending to care about free speech for all the dollar dollar dollars just ends up just you know getting rid of that free speech you know it's the funniest thing so what ended up happening yesterday is that an individual for his free speech was kicked out of Hero Hey, you know, Hero Hey, the alleged right wing anti SJW YouTuber, you know, that's a he's cool quote unquote by the weebs, you know, the weebs that you know their bananas don't actually work anymore, so they think Hero is relatable. Those people, yeah, yeah. So yeah, good job. Good job. Now this is not a very it's not a homosexual exposed video. Let's get this straight, right? Real quick. I do this for my pleasure and my audience's pleasure and nothing else. And if I get clout out of it, well, that apparently makes the haters mad and so that makes me very happy because I like your suffering, right? It's a it's a mutual thing. The haters, I like your suffering, so the more you get upset and it affects your well-being, the more I get happy. And ultimately that's what it's about. So, that little tidbit out of the way, you can put that in your back pocket, get it in your brain hopefully. We're going to move on to the video as a whole. And Hiro Hei has a reputation for not being able to take criticism. You know, the reason being because he, well he can't. <laughs> now he's gotten better at trying to hide it, I'll give him this. But, sometimes he slips up and will target smaller, irrelevant commenters, much like I do. And he'll make examples out of them, much like I do, because you've seen me do this. Um, now, again, as I've stated, I do this because, you know, I like your misery, basically, if you're a hater. I like, I like seeing your misery. I like seeing my words affect you. It gives me some sort of pleasure. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it's good for me, and it's bad for you, and that's all that matters. And, uh, and another big key difference is the difference here, the biggest hero. Hero is, by by his stands and his fans and the weeps logic, he's supposed to be above that. He's supposed to be above me, right? Supposedly. Yeah. And, and he's not. I instead, you know, the, the stands choose to ign not acknowledge that part of Hero, right? And I've said this before in my previous videos. Uh, it, it's because we pick and choose what to acknowledge when it comes to our favorite e-celeb. Kirsch! You human nature, like, we're not gonna acknowledge the fact that Nick Ricada, like, kind of called someone a pedophile without any real proof. We're not gonna acknowledge that because we like Nick. We, we think Nick is sexually attractive, and we don't want to acknowledge that terrible part. And we're not gonna acknowledge, you know, the fact that he called Bick a bitch one time because that's, that. we don't need to acknowledge that. And he cleared it up. And the way he cleared it up is very smooth but unfortunately that smoothness doesn't translate to someone like hero hey because hero hey doesn't have a spine and that's one of the things that i can actually give nick ricada is that he kind of has a spine and he well he's a lawyer so he's damn smart trust me he is hero is just the cali boy who cries and that's about it i mean he came from the fucking ruby community for god's sake what do you think like what do you expect of this guy what the fuck were you weebs thinking when you thought it was smart to give this guy power? I mean, I know he sucks Nux off, but that doesn't mean he's good. Nux wants to keep a healthy relationship with everybody so that he can prosper, right? You weebs are so easily manipulated. Whatever. Moving on. Hero now uses the plausible deniability shtick, where he will deny knowledge of any wrongdoing happening to someone else and act as though he was not even a catalyst for the wrongdoings happening. Now many YouTubers do this trick, at least the slime balls, because it's the easiest way for us to put a hit on someone without directly doing it ourselves. Because doing it ourselves will have, you know, especially if you have that nice guy persona, it will be bad optics, where even the most stanniest of all stands will open their eyes if you do this and see something is amiss. And that will turn, in turn, have a possibility to snowball into something much bigger and much messier and we don't need that we don't 
So now that we've established these two points, let's go into what happened in Hero Server the other day. As I got a tip off from an individual about them being ostracized by the totally heroic martyrs based in red-pilled alpha chads in the hero camp. All for saying this one little thing. So, hey everyone, guess who I am? I am the, everyone, this SGW on Twitter that I found got offended over a fucking drawing, so instead of letting it go and move on with my day, I'm going to make like a 6 to 10 minute long video about it. <laughs> yeah, the, this, is, this is good, this is money. Right here, but not the type of money the YouTubers like. This is just like comedy money. This is a gold. Freaking gold. The beautiful part about all this is that it proves me right once again. I know, shocker. Shocker. Multiple reasons why. The first being is that when you speak out, you get the boot because you are disrupting the pecking order. See, human beings operate off of social hierarchies. You know it's fucking true. You all know this. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Maybe you need to be enlightened. Well, in any case, we do. And because this individual made a joke disrupting it, essentially pointed out the truth that would hurt Hero or the Quartering's image, he needed to be silenced and then shamed. Now, this is a tactic gossipers, doxers, and cocks often use as they move in packs and are too weak to do anything about it themselves in most cases. What's even more scummy and kind of beautiful is that Hero can deny responsibility for this because, as has been said here and there, Hero's not as active in his server unless you pay up. So you better get on that Patreon. Hey, by the way, I, I just want to flex again. I, I got it for free. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys pay up. I didn't need to. You guys are definitely winning. Winners. YouTubers will often do this. They need to keep their heads up, guys. Okay, they need to keep their heads clear so that they can continue to scam and manipulate the average pay pig, a la the typical weeb that think that Hero's a good guy. Now, even though this person says they don't have any proof, I'm not inclined to immediately dismiss this. Because, one, this person doesn't like me. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Uh, because prior to this, they had been like heavily disagreeing with me and just kind of like, you know, I, I kind of wondered, yo, does this person want to start a fight or something? But I'm like, eh, doesn't matter. And then just randomly, I guess I saw one of my latest videos and they were like, well, I guess I tried out what you said and this ended up happening. So I'm like, lol, that's funny. Um, and the most important one is that I was at Hero Server at one point during the I Stand With Vic stuff. And the mods did the same thing to me when I started saying that I Stand With Vic had a few bad apples in them, right? A, a couple losers have you. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it turns out that not everyone in the community is a good person. Or, you know, <laughs> based in red pill. And that's really fucking evident. So the pure lefty SJW emotion that I got from these people in Heroes Camp is fucking ridiculous. None of them wanted the smoke, though, when it came to a debate. Unsurprisingly, they couldn't even talk in the VC. Because as I've said... These people are fucking weak, and they can only effectively get anything done in a group. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound like a group of individuals that we know on the internet? <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. I hope you know who you are. I hope, yes, you know who you are. You know who you are. Even Hero himself. You know, let's take, let's take the attention away from the nobodies for a second. Even Hero himself has dodged multiple debates from high IQ adversaries, right? Not, not the people he networks, you know, like, like Nick or Tug or, and like those two. Those two would give him a run for his money. But of course, gotta keep the network game going, right? Because it's all about that cash. We're dads. We need to feed our, our families, except for Hero. He's not a dad, but whatever. We'll just overlook that. Uh... You know, it's it's all about that, right? It's all about that. So we can't have the uh, high octane debates from people in our camp because they're allies. They're allies. Another one of the high IQ individuals that weren't in the network camp was Emish's live during the I Stand with Vic saga because he was much like me. He didn't really believe in this stuff. He even said on a tweet he made a total of ten 
or $20 off the ice stand was a big thing because he just didn't really care uh, about that, about the money thing. I mean, I'm sure that's very noble of him, no pun intended, to the great lost pause. And that's, uh, that's, that's real right there. Real recognizes real. And he definitely, definitely struck a nerve with a lot of these people to where you either had to try to bury Emish or you had to try to make nice with him. And of course, Hero chose the make nice path, right? He would never go in on him. However, Hero went in on Cody Brea from Anime Outsiders because Cody Brea had an unpopular take on the I Stand with Vic YouTubers. Maybe you heard about them, maybe you knew about this, but he basically said, y'all are fucking boring fucks and you contribute nothing to this drama other than trying to fill your bank account. And that's what he basically said. And that was the fucking truth. And it was the fucking truth. And of course it was a bad take, because as we know, emotions, blah, blah, blah. How dare you go out of the pecking order? How dare you go out of our social hierarchy? Simple-minded bullshit. Same redundant, stupid bullshit that everybody fucking does all the fucking time. So, Hero had the popular vote against Cody from the get-go because of this shit. And Hero saw that, right? Hero saw that because Hero's an idiot, but he's not that much of an idiot. He said, oh, this is an easy win because the crowd is going to say I win, so I won. And look, so many fucking idiots operate with this shit, right? That's why the Electoral College is a fucking thing, and we don't leave it to retards in the popular vote. Because if we did, we'd have Hillary Clinton as a fucking president. And I know none of you dumb weebs, even though you want to support Hero, and even though you do the same retarded shit, than most of these Dems and most of these dumb people do. I know you guys aren't stupid enough to go and vote for Hillary. So, yeah. It's funny, though. It's funny that you can't refute this. That's the best part about this. And that's what, what really makes me laugh and giggle on the inside. Anyway, Hero. Hero had the popular vote against Cody Barrera. But he would have nothing against Emish because th here's the thing with Emish's live. Emish's live, Emish actually, uh, he was good at working his way through the whole win by popularity disadvantage. It's something, something that he does and does uh, quite, quite well. I remember there was an individual on a gossip forum that actually said, like, uh, I, I don't like Sen. I don't think Sen is in the right. And, and, and Emish didn't like that because you know what? Me and Emish don't have any bad blood because guess what one he's not a snake i only snake the snakes there's this misconception that's senpai snakes that no i only snake the fucking shitty terrible people and that's why they don't like me because i'm better at it than them and they fucking deserve to get shat on so fuck you i don't care if i hurt the snake's feelings you should be glad that i didn't do anything worse to you number one number two respect Respect, Emish. Much respect to you. He can win with a fucking disadvantage. He can beat these disingenuous mofos. So, you know, that's why Hero didn't want the smoke from him. Ever. And he would just, just go, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, Emish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got, you want to be friends? Um, maybe we can handle this better? Yeah. That was, that was Hero, in a heartbeat, like, in a nutshell, that's his thing. So, the bottom line is, Hero definitely leads by example, but in the worst fucking possible ways. He teaches us to be weak, and only take advantage of people weaker than you, that you think you have an edge over, and kiss the ass of whoever else can get you more clout at the end of the day. This... This is who the anime community chooses to have as a representative. How embarrassing. How fucking embarrassing of you guys.